Hi guys, I'm Jason. I'm a final year mechatronics engineering student from UTM. The title of my final project is Climate and Model Recognition Using Minimum Average Correlation Energy. Oh, what is it about? Come on, let's check it out. Carmac is the brand or company. Car model is the car that the company makes. Car make and model recognition is an application that is able to recognize the make and model of a car image. This recognition system can be used in car surveillance to tackle car theft and crime. Sometimes, license plate recognition is not enough as license plate can be changed and the car can be repainted. If you ever play the game of Grand Theft Auto, this is how it does. This is how the criminal get away from the police. But notice that the make and model of the car can't be changed. Next, the common parking lots are designed equally in size. But the cars we have are of different size. Actually, the parking lots can be designed in such a way that the sizes are different such as small, medium, and big to suit different car size. In this way, the space can be optimized with the help of a smart parking system telling you which way to park your car at the parking entrance. Actually, this system can provide helpful information to business persons to plan suitable marketing strategies based on the car the customers drive. Maze is one of the advanced correlation filtering techniques. Maze is the algorithm that I implemented in this recognition project. The recognition system consists of a training module and a testing module. Maze is appealing in pattern recognition works because it can deal with images with occlusions and illumination variation problems. And the training outcome is small. Well, this is my GUI. To view a car sample, just simply click this combo box and make a selection. Then, click the view sample button. The car sample will be displayed on the result window. For training, you can insert a single image or multiple images from a directory. Well, let's insert three images. Ah, voila! So, now you can click the train button to train the images. Tick tock, tick tock. The training time will be displayed on the GUI when the training is completed. A template is created for that particular make and model. In testing mode, user is only allowed to insert single image. Alright, let's click the test button. And what you actually see is the cross correlation with all the templates is happening. Tada! Well, this is the graph. Uh -huh. So the fourth class uh, result will be something like this, and the, the true class is something like this. You sharply pick. Aha! Uh -huh. That's the result. And the labels are updated with the name of the make and model of the test image, which is Toyota Avanza. And this result window will show a sample of that car. And you actually can click this button, overall result, to see the result in a table form. Well, the testing time is around 29 seconds for a total of 36 templates. Well, if I modify the program to exclude the graph display, aha, the testing time would take less than a second to complete, which is about zero seconds, and it's pretty fast and suitable for real-time application. Simply copy the application to the Intel platform and use it like a normal computer. Well, the performance is much slower for a training module, but it is fast for a testing module and it's almost real-time as well. Actually, this computer program can be used for any recognition works as long as the user creates the training database with respect to the test image. Well, this is Jason. I hope you find this video educational and entertaining. Thank you and see you around. Bye-bye.